in the states. Governor Dan Malloy of Connecticut has told state police they don't have to comply with requests from ICE to hold illegal immigrants for deportation, saying that his state has no obligation to cooperate in the law and in the enforcement of federal immigration laws. How did you lose General Electric? How did you lose General Electric? Bad governor. You got a bad governor. Any governor that would lose General Electric hasn't done his job, let me tell you. Bad governor. It's massively in debt. The capital city's on the verge of bankruptcy. We're laying off teachers. Uh, real garbage. Connecticut com complies with the law. The president can't order us to do uh, federal work. Talking about garbage. Question. We have not laid off teachers, so I don't know where you're getting that. Really? From, from the Hartford Current, which said that Hartford, the city of Hartford, for example, is about to lay off 200 teachers under the current budget. The, the city is selling junk bonds. I mean, it's like going under, as you know. Talking about garbage. Frankly, the federal government should do its own job and get it done. Uh, and uh, we're not standing in the way of that happening. You have a governor in this state who's done a very poor job. The GE left after many years in your state, went to Massachusetts, not considered necessarily a hospitable place for business, but they did. Let me stop you for a minute. Yeah. GE moved 200 jobs from Connecticut yeah. for $160 million. Not a big deal? No. To your, your incompetent governor that you're not going to take it anymore, okay? I inherited a mess that my predecessors set up by giving away benefits and not funding the long-term obligation. Right. You know, he changes his name. I thought it was Daniel. Then I thought it was Dan. Then it's Daniel. Daniel? I never heard of Daniel, right? Where is he now? You're good at this stuff. Where is he now? People in the state are worried because clearly it's in trouble. When you have a $1.7 billion deficit. Connecticut ranks number 50th among the U.S. states for its fiscal health. I'm Bob Stefanowski, and I approve this message.